Thank you. This may be the most important speech I've ever made. I want to provide an update on our ongoing efforts to expose the tremendous voter fraud and irregularities which took place during the ridiculously long November 3rd elections. We used to have what was called Election Day. Now we have Election Days, weeks and months, and lots of bad things happened during this ridiculous period of time, especially when you have to prove almost nothing to exercise our greatest privilege, the right to vote. As President, I have no higher duty than to defend the laws and the Constitution of the United States. That is why I am determined to protect our election system, which is now under coordinated assault and siege. For months leading up to the presidential election, we were warned that we should not declare a premature victory. We were told repeatedly that it would take weeks, if not months, to determine the winner, to count the absentee ballots, and to verify the results. My opponent was told to stay away from the election. Don't campaign. We don't need you. We've got it. This election is done. In fact, they were acting like they already knew what the outcome was going to be. They had it covered, and perhaps they did, very sadly for our country. It was all very, very strange. Within days after the election, we witnessed an orchestrated effort to anoint a winner, even while many key states were still being counted. The constitutional process must be allowed to continue. We are going to defend the honesty of the vote by ensuring that every legal ballot is counted and that no illegal ballot is counted. This is not just about honoring the votes of 74 million Americans who voted for me. It's about ensuring that Americans can have faith in this election and in all future elections. 20,000 votes. And I can show you right here that Wisconsin, we're leading by a lot. And then at 3.42 in the morning, there was this. It was a massive dump of votes, mostly Biden, almost all Biden. And to this day, everyone's trying to figure out, where did it come from? But I went from leading by a lot to losing by a little. And that's right here. That's at 3.42 in the morning. That's Wisconsin. A terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. But we will have far more, many times more, than the 20,000 votes needed to overturn the state. If we are right about the fraud, Joe Biden can't be president. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of votes. We're talking about numbers like nobody has ever seen before. Just as an example, in certain states, we'll be down by, let's say, 7,000 votes. But we'll find later on 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 discrepancies or fraudulent votes. And that includes votes that went through when they were not allowed to be seen by Republican poll watchers because the poll watchers were locked out of the building. Or people that innocently came to vote on November 3rd who were all excited about their vote. They were happy. They were proud to be citizens of the United States of America. And they went up and they said, I'd like to vote. And they were told that they can't vote. I'm sorry, they were told. I'm sorry. You've already voted by mail-in ballot. Congratulations. We received a ballot so you can no longer vote. They didn't know what to do. They had no one to complain to. Most just left and said, that's strange. But many people complained and complained vehemently. And in a lot of cases, they filled out a provisional ballot, which was almost never used, but in virtually every case was a vote for Trump. In other words, they went in to vote 
and they were told that they voted. And they didn't vote. And they left, and they felt horror. And they lost respect for our system. And this happened tens of thousands of times all over the country. That's how desperate the Democrats were. They would fill out ballots of people not even knowing if these people were going to show up. And when they did show up, they said, sorry, you've already voted. And on top of everything else, we have a company that's very suspect. Its name is Dominion. With the turn of a dial or the change of a chip, you can press a button for Trump and the vote goes to Biden. What kind of a system is this? We have to go to paper. Maybe it takes longer. But the only secure system is paper. Not these systems that nobody understands, including, in many cases, the people that run them. Although, unfortunately, I think they understand them far too well.